the new chapter which we are going to discuss today is about complex numbers we have discussed randomly about the complex numbers in the number system as we have seen that there were different set of numbers which have come initially with the natural numbers and then the whole numbers and then the integers and then the rational numbers and then the real numbers and finally with the complex numbers so when it comes to complex numbers we have identified that they are the highest numbers or all the numbers which you are discussing here are included in complex numbers so these are the complex numbers which are derived from n w z q r and complex numbers generally denoted with the symbol roman symbol c now what do you mean by complex numbers how do we define the complex numbers is the biggest question because we have been discussing about the quadratic equation for example has real roots which are real, real and equal roots if delta is equal to 0 and real and unequal roots if delta is greater than 0 and imaginary or complex roots if delta is less than 0 so what are the imaginary or complex roots what makes us understand the difference between real and complex roots is the biggest question so let me start with an example problem say for example i have x squared minus 4 equal to 0 then in this case it is possible that i can find the real roots because if i want to find the roots of this immediately i have x squared equal to 4 and x is plus or minus root 4 which is 2 therefore the real roots are 2 and minus 2 but if I take an example problem where my quadratic equation is x squared plus 1 equal to 0 and I want to solve this, I cannot find the real roots. And let's see why I cannot find the real roots for this, but I can find the real roots for this. Because if I just take this in the form of x squared on the left and 1 on the right as minus 1, then in this case, I have my x is plus or minus root minus 1. That is, I have two roots, which is root minus 1, and the other is minus root minus 1. These are not real roots because root of a negative number is not defined under the real number system. So, therefore, these do not belong to the real numbers. Square root of a negative number is not a real number. Therefore, these two roots which exist for this equation are called complex type of roots. So, when the square root of a negative number comes into existence, we call the roots as complex roots. Therefore, we generally denote them with i because root minus 1 is denoted with i and then each of the complex numbers are generated from i, which we are going to see in brief on how each of them generates with i. But finally, these are the real roots. These are the complex roots. And hence, it is very important because there are many equations of such type in mathematics and in the world of mathematics and therefore finding the roots which are complex are also equally important for a given polynomial. Therefore, we try to stress on understanding the various properties involved with complex numbers and hence the whole world of complex numbers is created in this chapter and its different properties are studied individually in a stepwise process. Now let's define the complex numbers in a more mathematical definition. So if I take a complex number, I say that if x is a complex number, that is if x belongs to c, that implies I write x in the form of ordered pair ab or in the form of a plus ib, which we denote for this. This is how a complex number is written, where the rule is that A and B are real numbers in the given system. And of course, I is root of negative 1, is how we understand the complex numbers. So this is called the ordered pair. So using this definition of a complex number, I define set of complex numbers in the following manner. The set of complex numbers denoted by C is given by the set of all ordered pairs AB such that 
a and b belong to real numbers and then this is nothing but can also be written as the ordered pairs r cross r because it is a set of ordered pairs in the form Cartesian product of r cross r where each of a belongs to the first and b belongs to the second in the form of a comma b and this instead being equal to a plus ib can also be written as a plus ib such that ab belong to r and i is an imaginary number which is given by the definition root of minus 1 is how i define the set of complex numbers so therefore for example if i write 5 plus root minus 1 or 3 minus 7 root minus 1 are types of complex numbers because root minus 1 is i therefore I can write them as 5 plus i or 3 minus 7 i where a and b are real numbers and 3 and minus 7 are real numbers therefore they are written in the form of a plus i b therefore they are complex numbers so the complex numbers are generally denoted by a plus i b so these are all examples of complex numbers this is a complex number and this is also a complex number now the question comes here is 11 a complex number because I say this is real number because 11 is clearly an integer and hence a real number but my question is is this can this 11 be represented in the complex form in order that I want to represent 11 in a complex number, I should be able to write in the form a plus ib or in the ordered pair a and b where a and b are real numbers. So therefore, let's see if I can represent. Now as I see the number 11, I can write this as 11 plus i times of 0 because 11 plus 0 is again 11. So this can equally be written as 11 plus i times of 0 where this is a and this is b, both are real numbers. Therefore, this 11 is a complex number based on a plus ib where a and b are real numbers and i is root of minus 1. This is how we understand the complex numbers. And there is an important note I make out here that complex numbers are generally denoted by z. If I say z, z implies ab or a plus ib is how we understand the complex number z. So with each of the definition and this belongs to C, we try to construct various properties of complex numbers. The complex number generally denoted by z is in the form a plus ib and hence a and b are real numbers. So now that we have defined a complex number, we let's come back the complex number z which is generally denoted by a b or a plus i b with i equals root minus 1. Let's see what is conjugate of z. Now when I take this the conjugate of z which is denoted by z bar generally the bar is put for conjugate and hence the conjugate of z denoted by z bar is given by a minus i b or a minus b is how I define the conjugate of z. Generally when I have a complex number its conjugate includes replacing i with minus i that is this is obtained by replacing i with minus i is how I understand the conjugacy. Say for example, I have a problem z equals minus 3 minus 7i and I want to find its conjugate that implies z bar. I replace i with minus i that is minus 3 minus 7 of minus i which gives me minus 3 plus 7i which is called the conjugate of the conjugate complex number of the given complex number is how we understand 